So I'm going to outline three things you can do right now in order to switch your marketing message and keep your ad campaigns running. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Mohammed Kamara. And you already know what time it is, man. In the last video, we talked about how to go about getting fast shipping times. We talked about three different methods to go ahead and get your customers their orders in less than seven days time, okay? In less than a week, you can get your products over to your customers. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. But in this video, I wanna give you guys a little follow-up, all right? We're now approaching the Chinese New Year, okay? So for those who don't know, a Chinese New Year is that time of the year. All of the month of February is pretty much where they decide to do their celebration. And, you know, usually we'll see a decrease in workers and people going to work as far as, you know, being in China, right? So a lot of them will take time off, spend time with their family, and just enjoy the New Year. And that's part of their culture, right? So being that we're doing a lot of our drop shipping and our shipping and stuff is coming from China, that's a big part of our business that we're heavily relying on. And it's just gonna be kind of dormant for a while. So usually what happens is a lot of drop shippers just decide to not advertise because they know that products are not gonna be able to get shipped to their customers in a timely fashion. But I wanna give you guys an alternative and a different way you could go about approaching the Chinese New Year so that you can keep advertising, keep getting sales coming in and still communicate that with your customers to make them happy and let them know when to expect their products, okay? So stay tuned, I got y'all, I'ma hook y'all up with some huge gems right now. Make sure you hit a like on this video before we get into it, but I wanna outline that these are the same strategies that I'm using on my seven figure store right here. As you can see, we're at 1300 on the day. I'll refresh this. Yes, we did end up hitting that 60K mark. If you guys been following along with this in the last few videos here, but we did end up hitting that 60K mark as of today, okay? But for January, we came close. We, you know, just about 1,200 shy. We hit about like 58K on the store, but no big deal. We'll keep scaling this thing up. And now is a perfect time to actually get into scaling because this is a time of the year where a lot of drop shippers and a lot of advertisers are going to actually slow down and peel back on their ads because they know that the logistics side is really gonna suffer. So we can take advantage of this and take advantage of the higher or the lower CPMs that we're gonna be getting because there's less competition. We can get in and start testing some products very cheaply because there's gonna be less competition. So let me just outline some strategies that you can implement right now and the strategy that I would highly recommend for everybody is the pre-order strategy, okay? If you don't know about this, there's a way we can go about setting a pre-order for our items and basically tailoring our marketing message. Instead of getting this product with fast delivery, this is gonna be a special item and this is a pre-order. So if you wanna place an order right now, you know, we'll change some of the things on our website and I'll show you exactly what things to change on your website in a few minutes here. But the overall message in our marketing is gonna be, all right, you want to do a pre-order, you can place your order right now and we'll ship these out towards the end of the month. Usually around, you know, the 20th of the month is when Chinese workers will start going back to uh, factories, they'll start going back into their regular jobs and start resuming their normal daily schedule. Okay, so we wanna kinda tailor our marketing message around this. Doesn't mean you have to just completely stop all your marketing campaigns and put a stop to your testing campaigns. Cause I know a lot of people have been seeing traction, especially in January, starting their store. So there's no reason to slow down, all right? First of all, you gotta find out and communicate with your supplier directly and find out when they will specifically be back in the office, okay? My suppliers, they tend to come back after about 10, 15 days. So they'll be in office, you know, around February 15th. For some other suppliers, they'll end up coming back in at around like the 25th of the month. Okay, so you gotta communicate and find out when they're actually gonna be back. But still, you wanna give yourself some buffer time because even when people come back, you know, and they're resuming the, the regular workflow in China, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a lot of backlog in these Chinese shipping ports to ship out products. So your product is still gonna face some delays even after that. Right, so your customers are probably, if they order today, they're probably not gonna get their orders until like the first week of March. So that's painful. But here's what we can do, all right? What I want you to do is three things. I'm gonna outline three things you can do right now in order to switch your marketing message and keep your ad campaigns running. What we'll do is we'll go into our products and you can just put a simple message here like this. You could say pre-order in the actual title of the product. 
so that whenever people do decide to purchase, they're gonna know, okay, I shouldn't be expecting this product anytime soon, right? Yes, you might lose out on some conversions, but I have seen this help in some cases because if you have the right product to go along with this message, people will think that this product is brand new, it hasn't been released, and the pre-order will actually help you in a case where you know they're gonna think that this is such a specialty item, I wanna be one of the first ones to get it as soon as it comes, right? So depending on how good your marketing is and how you build up hype and social proof around your product, this can still work, you know? So this is a strategy you can do. This is the first thing I would do to go about being able to install the whole pre-order idea into your store. You know, you don't need to change anything else. It's pretty much just the communication with your customers. That's all you need to do. So you can go and type that in on your product page right here, right in the product title. And that way there's no confusion. Everybody knows they're gonna be able to pre-order this. The second thing you can do is come into your notifications. So go into the settings tab, and then I'm gonna come down here into notifications, and then I'll go into order confirmation. And what we wanna do is edit the order confirmation email so that it's a pre-order okay if we used to preview this right now we can see that mine says thank you for your pre-order right so here's what we'll do you can actually edit these but be very careful because there's code in here that you don't want to mess up so what i do is usually it'll say something like thank you for your order but i changed it to say thank you for your pre-order right and then we can also add some text here to say your order will ship out on feb 24th okay so this is where you got to communicate with your suppliers and find out when they're going to actually be back so you can communicate that here with your customers okay if I save this and preview this again it's gonna say something like this right in the title right in the header okay it's gonna be bold so they can't miss it and this is very very helpful basically you want to keep all your communication congruent from the marketing to your website, to your post-purchase emails, to the actual customer getting their order. So you can do this, you know, do things like this. That's the second thing. The third thing I would do is go into the Shopify app store and we can add a app, right? So all you have to type in here is delivery date. Okay, so I'll type in delivery date and we're gonna see a few apps pop up. And what it'll do is these delivery apps, you can install them on your store. Definitely find like a free plan, okay? There's a bunch of them, so find a free one. We're only gonna be using this temporarily. And you can add this into your store and under your product page, you know, like before you get to the description, it'll say something like, order now and get it by this time. Or you can say all pre-orders will ship out on this day, right? So you can customize the text, but it'll basically be a code and stick right before the description of your products and that way your customers will know okay this product is very special i really really want it let me just place the order now and forget about it and when it comes it comes right so basically being very congruent and very straightforward with your communication with your customers and that's enough to keep making sales all right yeah you know maybe you might have the same conversion rate maybe your conversion rate might drop a little bit maybe it might even go up it's going to give that specialty feel right so it's kind of cool for you because you get to kind of test out a different type of marketing angle and see if it helps or if it hurts your business if it hurts you know it's up to you to decide all right is this even good enough to keep going or should i just cut back on my marketing and wait till suppliers are back but ultimately, I don't think it should make a crazy, crazy difference. Obviously, I'm not doing this method right now because I'm doing branded drop shipments, so all my orders are still being shipped out with two-day shipping time. I'm not relying on Chinese workers, but I just wanted to hook you guys up with a strategy that I would use if I was still doing the drop shipping business model. So that's just some of the things that I haven't seen spoken about here on YouTube as far as like how to deal with Chinese New Year. So if you got some value out of this and you wanna try this out, go ahead, give it a try, but leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below what you think about this strategy and what other things you're doing to implement in the Chinese New Year and during this month in order to keep your sales going, not to slow down on your momentum. You know, I know a lot of people are going and doing like uh, Valentine's Day products. I don't know how they expect to get those products delivered though. So that's an interesting take. Definitely, I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Just leave a hashtag Money Mafia. Make sure you check in and leave a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe because in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you and revealing to you the exact product that did over $300,000 in a single month for me and basically giving you some pointers on what to look for when it comes to product research, things like that. 
Also, some other things that I've been looking forward to as far as content, I've been thinking about doing store reviews. So if you guys are thinking of doing like some store reviews, maybe I'll go live on YouTube to actually do this. Definitely down to do that. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. Okay, and definitely shoot over some comments, some suggestions on what kind of things you guys wanna see me create and talk about in the future, all right? Just wanted to drop this video in here real quick. Hopefully it's a helpful strategy for a lot of you guys practicing the drop shipping method and not wanting to slow down on momentum. I'm curious to see how it works out for a lot of y'all. So keep me updated, let me know how it goes. In the meantime, check out this video right here. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one too. Now is the time to kind of take a step back, think about your logistics and brush up on some of the drop shipping things that you wanna do going forward into this year so we can actually hit scale doing those six figure months. All right, I'll catch you on the next video, Bunny Mafia. Stay tuned, peace.